For the first time since the inception of Divine Word University in East Newburton, the Catholic-run institution marked a milestone. The WU's affiliated Caballero Teachers College and the St. Mary's Wunapope School of Nursing hosted its first combined graduation that marked the end of their two-year studies for a diploma in primary teaching and nursing. Given the importance of this day, the health and education as the pillar policies for the country, Deputy Prime Minister Leo Dion, who represented the government, reaffirmed the government-church partnership in delivering these basic services. The development by Divine World University is a great testament that the policy framework for church, government, public-private partnership is progressing from strength to strength and strengthening into enhanced improvements in service delivery. DWU is one church-run institution that tries to answer calls for a better education and health services for all, and what has come about stands apart from other institutions in the country. The success of the institution and its partnership with the government has been strengthened by a team led by Father Jan Chuba from the Divine World University's main campus in Medang. It's not a responsibility of PNG government, it's our responsibility, institutions who are engaged in health education, to work together with partners. Like Since the arrival of the first Christian missionaries in Papua New Guinea, churches have played a significant role in the delivery of services when there wasn't a Waigani. And while there is a Waigani today, the churches are still outperforming the government and it is here that the government wants to maintain its relationship with Christian churches and other private partners. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.